How to write a Chinese character? Well, all Chinese characters are formed with five types of strokes, which were traditionally subdivided into eight types. They are dian, dot, na, press, heng, horizontal, ti, upward horizontal, shu, vertical, pie, throw, zhe, deck, go, hook. All Chinese characters are combination of these strokes. Uh, some may have only one stroke, like character yi, uh, which means one. Um, it's just one horizontal, uh, like what it means. Uh, some may have over 20 strokes, uh, like tao tie. Uh, actually, it's a phrase combined with two characters, and each of them has over 20 strokes. Uh, this phrase stands for a cruel monster in legend, uh, but it's also used as a metaphor for people who are greedy for food. But don't be scared, okay? Um, these complicated characters are not common. Uh, most characters we use in daily life are less than 15 strokes, uh, which I know still sounds a lot. And that brings out the next part I'll introduce, radical. Radical is like the pattern in which strokes are arranged. Uh, for example, one very common radical is San Dian Shui, uh, directly translated as three dots of water. Uh, pretty easy to understand, literally, right? Uh, it's three dots. Uh, and there are many characters share this same radical, like Hai, Yang, Mei, Huo, and so on. So if you have remembered radical San Dian Shui, uh, three dots of water, uh, the next time you see a new character with this radical, all the writing you need to know is the part left, and that's less work. Uh, also, if you have seen my last video, uh, you know that the formation of this kind of character is called phonosemantic compound, uh, and that means one part in this character is for meaning, and the other is for pronunciation. Uh, like these characters with radical san dian shui, uh, three dots of water, uh, actually most of them have something to do with water, and have similar pronunciation to the sound part left. Same with the radical guang zi pang. Uh, actually, guang is already a character itself. Uh, it means white. But as a radical, it stands for roof or ceiling. Um, so characters with radical guang zi pang usually refer to something related to construction. Now, other examples are characters with radical li dao pang. Uh, loosely translated as sharp knife. Um, so many characters with this radical usually have meaning around sharp or knife or cut uh, and are pronounced similarly to the sound part. So let's do math around here about learning Chinese, okay? Um, there are about 50 common radicals and when we graduated from middle school, we were required to be able to recognize 3,500 characters, uh, which are enough to live a life with. And since 80% of present characters are phonosemantic compounds, like I just introduced in the last video, that means by learning one radical, you may vaguely guess the meaning of over 50 characters. How thrilling is that? Just mathematically speaking. So you may have noticed from examples I gave out that radical can be at left side, at right side, above any character. And that brings out the last part I'll introduce today, structure. Just like radical is the pattern that strokes are arranged in, uh, structure is the pattern that radical and other components are combined in the character. Uh, most characters are multiple component characters, uh, also known as compound characters. Um, only a few characters are single component characters. Uh, they are consisted of less strokes and simpler to write, uh, but they are very important because many of them actually are the sound part in a phonosemantic compound. Um, so by remembering the pronunciation of single component character and the meaning of common radicals, you may have a good chance of guessing out the meaning as well as the pronunciation of a character. There are five types of structures of compound characters, uh, which can be subdivided into nine types. They are left-right structure. Example is hai, consisted of radical san dian shui, Simple component character, mei. 
left mid right structure. Example is Hu consisted of radical San Dian Shui. Simple component character Gu. Simple component character Yue. Above below structure. Example is In consisted of simple component character Li. Simple component character Zhi. Above mid below structure. Example is Ji. Consisted of radical Bao Gai Tou. Simple component character Da. Simple component character Ke. Pin structure. Example is Pin. Consisted of three same simple component character Ke. Another example is Zhong. Uh, also consisted of three same simple component character, Ren. Two side surrounded structure. Example is Guo. Consisted of radical, Zou Zi Pang. Simple component character, Cun. Three side surrounded structure. Example is Qu. Consisted of radical, San Kuang Lan Simple component character Yi Fully surrounded structure Example is Guo Consisted of radical Guo Zi Kuang Simple component character Yu Overlaid structure Example is Zuo Consisted of simple component character Tu and two same simple component character, Ren. Oh my God. I can't believe you watched till the end. You must learn like Chinese. So I hope this video can help you overcome the fear of learning Chinese characters. Um, because no matter how complicated a character is, eventually it's just a combination of strokes. So uh, as long as you get familiar with those eight types of strokes, uh, 50 common radicals and nine types of structures, and get to know some basic simple component characters, you will find that there are not so many characters actually. So be confident, okay? See you next time. Like the video and subscribe.